Hello guys, so for today's video, I, me, hello, I'm going to show you how I get my like 10 minute makeup, like this makeup, in the summer, that it's not like super cakey, I didn't want to cake it up because I feel like I always do that. And I'm just like more into like natural makeup. What's my skin peeking through, like my imperfections peeking through. Just because, big deal, like we're not all perfect. We all don't have that like flawless skin and whatever. So I've really been like just embracing it, whatever it is, just take its course. This is like the result of enjoying a little bit of pizza. Uh, no, not pizza, soda. After a little while, every time like I take a long time without drinking soda and I drink it, that happens but big deal live life enjoy it um but yeah this is more like of my taste like if you're looking for something that looks like this then you know i would recommend you and you don't know what to do then i'll recommend you doing this and if you like it so yeah i hope that you stay to watch and i hope that you enjoy till next time no not until next time that's at the end Let's get straight into the video. Start with some of this Clinique lotion, like face lotion. I'm just gonna apply that everywhere. This is my favorite one because it's so thin and just amazing. Okay, so everything that I'm gonna be using is just in this little pouch that I just keep with me. It's like my travel pouch. And this is like for my everyday makeup. I have a beauty sponge, so this is how we're gonna be blending everything out. I literally use it for everything. I hardly use any brushes. And then you can take a peek in here. And this is all I have, which we're gonna be using for our face today. A whole bunch of goodies, so let's get into it. So I'm gonna take some of this travel size um, professionals and I'm gonna apply it in my T-zone. I'm just taking a little bit because it tends to also um, get me a little oily. So I just apply it right here before I go with everything because you know, summer is brutal sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna be using is my Clinique foundation. is a is a Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, and I use the color Cork WN24 VF. So that's the one that I use. I like this big Dofa applicator. So I just go over all my problematic areas and just conceal those. We're mainly just spot concealing. Um, now I'm gonna just blend it out everywhere. And the skin, I'm not looking for a full coverage perfect skin, but if that's what you're going for, then you could also go for that. I'm also gonna conceal a little bit more as I go, but definitely I'm not going for perfect skin. I'm going for something that is just like, okay, I'm throwing on in 10 minutes. A little bit under the eyes just a tiny bit because i'm gonna go with another concealer it's right under the, under the eyes Okay, so once we're done blending all of that, this is how it looks. And it's not perfect because I'm not trying to cake it all in and get a full coverage um, type of base. But this is what works for me and like doesn't make me hot. The next thing that I like to do is um, use some of these Cover FX custom, um, custom drops. And this is in the color 29. I don't know if they have numbers or whatever. But it looks like this is pretty dark. But all you need is like literally like, let's say, two drops it's like a lot a lot a lot so then what i do is i sh mix it right here in the back of my palm and i just put it right here you see how much that is it's a lot just put it right here as contour or like as a bronze because i don't want to use powder i'll put it in here too just go you know, i feel like it works better like this okay Some, oops was okay and with some like cream um contour or whatever you have whatever this cream that i had left over on this brush i just go ahead and put it all over here nothing perfect look how big this brush is i usually use this for my face if i'm looking for like a more 
full coverage look but i'm just gonna scrape this all along that will be my eyeshadow like just like that so again using my sponge and i'm gonna take some of this laura mercier translucent powder and i'm just gonna take a tiny little bit so off of what's here i'm gonna using the sponge again i use the sponge for everything and i'm just gonna set right down here and i'm just gonna take it like this and set everywhere so also the top does increase because we put cream but mainly focusing it on the bottom of the eye this is more of me doing my makeup fast and trying to get it done quickly and then anywhere where I'm, i will be oily then i'll apply some of this which will be on um, right here i tend to cake up right here and then i get very oily right here and right here and like i said i'm taking a little bit only okay so now for a little bit more bronze because that's my thing i like to be very bronzed in the summer i will take my mark jacobs um this is like a foundation powder but i got it it's called the perfection powder and fawn cocoa i just use it as um bronzer and i take a super huge brush nothing perfect and then just like bronze up bronze up everything Okay, so now I'm going to take some of my e.l.f. pencil, brow pencil, and I'm just going to fill in my brows. I typically, I haven't done them in a while. Just brush them up. Like that. And then I just fill them in with wherever I feel like they need to be more filled in. So let's say like right in the front right here to match this front and at the end. To come on like that but it, it's good it's okay the eyebrows are now done i'm gonna apply mascara now but in the case that sometimes i'm feeling like a little bit more shaggy, like i want an extra thing i will apply a little bit of this dila uh, Magnific magnificent metals i think is what they're called Oh, this is called Shimmer and Glow. So, Stila Shimmer and Glow and the uh, color Bohemi, Bohemi or something like that. And I leave it just like that. Something like this and a little bit of mascara and Vaseline and I'll go. My L'Oreal mascara. Right. I'm just going to go I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. Put some mascara and on. And no I'll lashes. Take a little bit of mascara. Teeny, teeny, tiny bit. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Okay, and so once I do my mascara, I did up and bottom yeah. mascara, and then I did a little bit of white underneath the eyes. I haven't done that in a while. But and then when my fingers, I, I haven't done my makeup in. in a long time, but this is just like Blended what I did in. yesterday and like a couple of days before. When I just want to like to do like a little bit, not too much, just like a little bit. And I will then do it just like that. And, and so if you want a little judge, you will do this one. If not, then you will do. But if you want to, let's say, finish it off, what I'll usually do... Just grab this NARS um, lip gloss that I have. It's super duper old. It's called Strip Tease. I don't know if I should be using it or not. It's so old. But it's super light, so I will usually just apply this first. And I'll go like this. It for me. Well, um, this, so usually this would be it for me. 
and then I'll apply some and then to finish it off I'll use a little bit of this LA um LA no usually LA girl do. lip liner natural cream and I'll what just, I'll over, usually and I'll do just line the bottom of the lips line my lips here. or apply a little bit of gloss this like I'm like a little bit right of right now just so you could get like um dimension And then after it looks like this so after i overline them a little bit like just the top in the in the center down here it just looks like this and this is it. that you stayed to watch and i hope that you enjoyed it and yeah next i think i'm gonna film a haul i like bought a couple of cute things that i want to show you guys and i hope that you are interested in watching so yeah until next time